Once upon a time, there was a little princess, the most beautiful little princess in all the land. Kinky sex, religion, a beauty queen, Mormon missionaries, kidnap at gunpoint. There was something in that story for everyone. It was a perfect tabloid story. When I met my Kirk, it was like in the movies. When Juliet looks at Romeo and it's pew. She had fallen in love with him and become obsessed by him. The next thing I know, he vanished into thin air. I found him in England. The Mormons had him. Joyce set up this plan. I knew there was only one way to get Kirk out of Mormonism, and that was to make love with him. Kirk and I went to this cottage. We made love for three days. It was like a honeymoon. <laughs> This bizarre story began here last Wednesday. A young Mormon missionary was kidnapped, driven to a house, blindfolded, and his legs shackled. I couldn't believe it. It was just like shock. It was in all the papers. Were you surprised to be put in prison? I really didn't feel I'd done anything wrong. Scenario number one, big gun, chloroform, tied up, sexual impropriety. <laughs> The second version is Joyce's story. The Mormons get him, brainwash him, and all of a sudden he's claiming rape. A guy that wants to have sex or he doesn't. That's like putting a marshmallow in a parking meter. The British Isles was on fire with the Joyce McKinney story. I was a celebrity. She was having the time of her life. Disguises and wings. Worms crawl out of the woodwork when you become famous. They had a tip. 38, 24, 36. Your fantasy is her speciality. The press went crazy. They said I was a whore. Oh, my heck, as they say in Utah. She went barking mad. <laughs> she disappeared a day later. It's not a porno story like these crazy newspapers have tried to make. It's a love story. You know, you can tell a lie long enough till you believe it.